In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can currently make YouTube Shorts via your mobile device, and then how to produce them on a camera and edit them using software or apps. So if you don't know what a YouTube Short is and why you should start making them right now, then watch this video here. But a brief explanation is this. A YouTube Short is a new type of video on YouTube. They need to be shot in portrait and have to be under 60 seconds long. They then appear here on the short shelf or here under videos. And right now they are blowing up up people's channels. I mean, some of the results here are just next level. 40 million views kind of next level. So let's start by running over how to make them on a phone, the simplest and the fastest way. You simply go to your phone on your YouTube app, press the plus sign, and then either upload a video you have made on your phone or on an app. You can then trim the beginning and the end of the video in here, simply by moving the white bar about. And then you can add in the title of the video too. Then fill out the description, again, like you would a regular video, so get your keywords in there in a way that is readable. I've added mine to a shorts playlist, so click on add to playlist and select where you want it to go. In order to make it a short, you need to include hashtag shorts in the title or description to let YouTube know it's a short. Although it does seem to be throwing old videos in portrait under 60 seconds into the short shelf too without this. So maybe you don't need to, but just do it anyway, because that's what they said. Then choose publish or unlisted. So this is like published, but you can only find the video from a link, schedule, or just keep it private. Then hit next, and then select if it's for kids or not, and the restrictions, and hit upload. Now you might have noticed this is pretty limited. I'd advise heading over to a desktop to do this properly. You can on a mobile go to the YouTube Studio app and then add your tags too. So that's all from a phone. To upload a short from a desktop, it's pretty much the same as you would usually upload from a desktop. You can change the thumbnail here and I'd recommend the desktop upload over the phone right now as it's a lot slicker and it gives you more options. So this brings me on to the thumbnail. Click through rate is still a metric measured by YouTube for these shorts depending on how it's discovered. So you'd probably expect it to play some kind of part in getting seen. You can upload a regular landscape thumbnail in 16 by nine if you do this. It looks less grubby on your channel homepage too, so I'd recommend that as well. The only thing that might be annoying for people is that when they click it on a desktop, they're then met with a portrait video and these ugly bars. So right now I'm testing portrait thumbnails and regular ones on my other channel to see how well they perform. You should do the same too. Seeing as 70% of YouTube's traffic is from mobile devices, you're more likely to give someone a pleasant surprise with this format because it actually looks pretty cool when viewed. So let's look at shooting these on a camera now. It's pretty simple. If you want to give yourself more work and make videos that potentially look a little bit out of place when watched as portrait, then film with your camera as you would a regular video and then in the edit, try to get it to fit in the gap. The only plus side to this is you can repurpose these videos as regular videos and use on other platforms. The want 16 by nine. So you'll have to film wide to make it work on both. If you wanna make these work to their true potential, then turn your camera on its side and just film them for shorts. If you've got a tripod like this, you can just tilt it and that works. That's it. So let's have a look at editing. If you have shot on a phone, I'd recommend checking out some apps that are available right now that have been designed for TikTok videos. I'll go into more details on these in another video. If you don't know why TikTok is super important in the whole shorts process, then watch this video here. But Zoomerang, Funimate and B Cut are great editors that, that basically give you TikTok levels of creativity and effects and filters and all the things that make TikTok videos go viral. In here, use the effects to help make your shorts as engaging as you can. Then upload. And if you're finding this video helpful at all, a like would really be appreciated as it does help the channel a lot. If you've shot on a phone, the first thing you'll need to do is make your aspect ratio of your timeline nine by 16. Now most software can do this. On Final Cut, you simply start a new project, then select your portrait and then drag in your clip and you are there. Edit away, export and upload. And that leads me on to producing these. So if you wanna know why I believe these are going to be big and why TikTok has played such an important part in all of this, you need to watch this video here. Right now, shorts are pretty basic, but in India they are not and they have music and effects. And it's basically very similar to what you can do with TikTok, which means if you're an early adopter to shorts, you might wanna think about making them super creative in the edit. Head over to TikTok to see what kind of things people do that gets traction. There really are some amazing little videos, incredibly creative, and that's what I think these short videos should be about too. Right now on YouTube, you're seeing a lot of repurposed videos and videos shot on the fly on a phone in shorts, which might be getting traction now, but when this all gets rolled out and the effects and the music and everything like that's more mainstream, you're going to see a hell of a lot of creative content. So start getting better at making it like that now so that you can compete. So now I'm gonna show you one I made recently 
recently that performed very well on my other channel to show you what I mean. There's a link in the description if you want to see it. Filming outside could be a total nightmare. You're fighting the weather, harsh sunlight, rain, maybe even animal. A super easy way to vlog outside though, on the move, is with this, what I'm filming on now. And this is a GoPro Max. we have got very good mics. They can do funky things like this. They're strong. And all you really need if you want to vlog on the move, because you can go close like this or super wide like this. And then when you're done, you can edit the whole thing on your phone. And the stabilization's pretty flipping good too. So I made that video after producing a TikTok course with an influencer and she rated my content. She told me that you have to focus on intros more to get traction. It needs to be visually engaging, not just what you're saying. You really need to try and stop people with something creative before they even know what they are watching because content is randomly thrown at you as you scroll down. So I tested this and this is the result of this short with a pretty interesting opening. And this is the result of a short with just me chatting to camera. Now there's a big difference there. So I urge you when making your shorts, think about how people watch these. Remember, inside the shorts viewing experience, people will be scrolling down through your phones. I know I've already said that, I have to repeat it because it's important. And they scroll really, really, really fast. Once inside shorts, there are no distractions, just one video at a time. So get creative at the start because your intro is your only real weapon. That might be through editing something, eye-popping, doing something outrageous. Now I can't tell you every option that there is. I just need to make sure you don't miss out on the potential with a dull start. Right now it's really 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 early days for shorts but I recommend testing them to see how your viewers react as well as how well they perform. Now if you want to see how I'm testing them there's a link to my shorts content in the description. The best thing about making videos that are short is that it forces you to get more creative. You only have a set amount of time to make someone learn or laugh or cry so it will make you a more creative thinker just attempting these as a style. And if you still don't know much about shorts and you want to know why it's such a massive opportunity make sure you check out this video here.